Hey everybody, this is Trey with BlackFalconElectronics.com and in this video I will be showing you how to install Starlink A through Z. So, I'm Trey, this is my partner here, Genevieve, that you may or may not be able to see because it's pretty bright out here, it's hard for us to see. So uh, yeah, that's my part. Say hi, Jen. <laughs> All right, so uh, she's a little bit afraid of being on a roof, which is okay. Um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna just show you the whole process of installing the starlight. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me and see me pretty well. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is download Starlink, and when you download download Starlink, you want to do your obstruction test. So basically, you'll be going around the sky and that'll tell you if you have any obstructions or not so we do have an obstruction that obstruction would be this big beautiful tree here um, so that's why i'm going to have to do things a little bit differently um, in terms of the starlink antenna installation so what that would mean is i would have to um, use the um, use a tripod and I'll show you that and then we'll just continue going um, as we go along with the installation process. All right, so I am on the Starlink app already downloaded and what have you. We are going to do the obstruction test. As I stated before, you want to do this first. Um, and again, I already did this uh, beforehand, but I'm gonna show you the whole process from A to Z. So let's go ahead and start with A. All right, so I'm gonna press check for obstructions and then obviously just follow the instructions that we see here, find an open area and scan the entire sky. Being that I'm on my roof, you wanna be very careful because you know, uh, for my roof is angled. So you just wanna make sure you don't accidentally fall off, you know, take the proper precautions as necessary. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and select I'm ready. And then you see, you wanna scan the entire sky. So you see this black portion here? Um, that's not the area you wanna look at. You wanna be looking at the blue per portion where you see the green, those green um, icons getting sucked in. And then you just wanna go all the way around and scan the entire sky. So we're a clear Colorado day, so that's awesome. And you can already see we're gonna have some obstructions with the tree here, but that's okay, because I already know that. That's why I have the tripod. So once you go all the way around, everything gets sucked in. You wanna go ahead and press view results. And it's going to go ahead and estimate the obstructions that you'll have. All right, so first things first, what are the materials you're going to need? Um, now for me, like I stated before, I have an antenna mast that I'm going to be putting up. So I have the tripod for the antenna mast. I have the two antenna masts right there. One will be um, going inside of the other. I have a hammer, drill bit set, socket wrench set, and then I have the equipment to secure the tripod to the, um, to the roof and it already has some silicone to seal it to ensure that there is no leaking in the roof and then i also have a drill that is connected to an extension cord that goes down to a socket and that is for drilling the pilot holes that i will then put that i will then use to install the hardware to secure the tripod so let's go ahead and get started all right so we finally got the tripod uh, set up as need be. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is drill my by pilot holes. So this is actually tar. I thought it was silicone until I touched it. Um, so what we're gonna do is drill the pilot holes and then we're going to stick the tar um, underneath here, underneath the pad of the tripod. And then we're going to go ahead and place uh, the bolts in here uh, through the holes that are in the tripod, all right? So ordinarily you would use an impact drill for this. Um, I don't have one, uh, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. It's not as efficient, nor is it as quick, but I'm just doing this, it gets the job done, and I don't particularly mind just getting it knocked out by hand. So I would suggest you get an impact, uh, impact drill for sure, 
don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> it's not unsafe. It's just very slow. Very, very slow. So just make sure that when you're installing this, that when you're putting the tar down, that you drill the pilot holes first, you put the tar down, and then from there you just mark where the holes are, and then you drill it in and secure it. Now here I have the foot of the tripod on a lip. So that means for these bottom two here, I need to fold the tar over to make sure that it equalizes and keeps it nice and even when I secure these bolts in, uh, into it. So now that we have the feet of the tripod secured, we have the tar on it to ensure there is no water leakage or water damage to the roof. Um, the next part is to get the tools required to secure the antenna mask to the tripod and then putting a Starlink on there. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put the mast, connect the mast together and as well as put the Starlink antenna on it. So I don't know if you guys can see, but one side of the mast is swedged. So what I'm gonna do is just put it in here and just push it in there. Right in. Yes, it is. All right. And then I'm using a hammer, but ideally you wanna use like a rubber mallet to get this in here. Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. All right, so the next part is we're gonna to have to secure, so I have an adapter for the Starlink. So the Starlink is gonna fit in here. Then I have to secure this, uh, the uh, mast inside of here and then use the uh, provided Allen wrench to secure it and then the Starlink will fit on top. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the mast on it. Uh, put the mast on a uh, Starlink pipe adapter. And then I'm just gonna secure it hand tight first. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Allen wrench that comes with it as part of the kit. And just go ahead and get that secured. All right, so the next step, now that I have the adapter here at the end connected and I have it secured with the set screws. The next step is to connect the Starlink to the adapter and raise it up and hold it onto the antenna mast and then secure it. So this will, after we're done with this, then we will go inside where it's a lot more light. So let's go ahead and knock this out. You ready? Raising All right, raising. Okay. Okay. So can you hold it or are you going to need help? I'll bring it further down. Well, the big part gets through. well, it's already through. It's already through all yeah, the way. Big part. Oh, I, I got you. So there like, you, you sure? Here, if you want to put, there you go, baby. Okay. I need to get a proper socket wrench set though. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, that hurt. Well, be careful. Fuck! 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 Did you include that in your video? <laughs> All right. So now we have the antenna mess installed and properly secured. The tripod properly secured with the tar, and we have the Starlink antenna itself mounted. Now we're inside, and here we have the 75-foot cord and 75 feet. It's an awful lot of cord. So what we need to do is secure this cord so it's not just hanging around. Now, Starlink was kind enough to put, to give us these. And what you would do is use this item to secure the wire to the wall. So we have quite a few of these. Uh, if you have a socket wrench, it'll be a quarter inch socket drive. And then we're just gonna hang this along the wall, the top of the wall 
and we're gonna go from there. Now, the good thing is that for my specific door, there's enough space at the very top of the door for the cord to slip through without causing any abrasion. Now, there won't be a lot of abrasion in terms of an, there being enough to strip the wire, uh, but it's just like a snug fit. I can open and close the door pretty easily uh, with very little resistance from the cord itself, so that's really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure these along the top of the wall, like on the ceiling, and then we're gonna proceed from there. So let's go ahead with this fast track video. All right, so now I have everything ready. I have all the hardware installed. I have it uh, secured to the walls and the ceilings and what have you. So now that everything is good, this is the last, this is one of the last steps, plugging in, plugging it in and setting it up. So now that we have everything connected, the next step is to set up our Starlink. So we're going to start setup and it already connected now wants me to configure. So I am not going to show you guys what I'm putting in for my SSID as well as my password, but we'll skip to the end once it's all complete. All right, so once you put in your SSID as well as the password, it starts rebooting and it says your Starlink router is rebooting to apply your network settings. This takes about 30 seconds. Okay, so at this point, I have everything blacked out because it's showing my SSID and password. So it'll show the network name, it'll show the password, and then it'll, you will have a pop-up that says device to use with Starlink, and it shows you the new network name that you established. So then all you would do is when it pops up, you go ahead and connect to it. And then once it connects, it says connection is successful. And then it starts the process. And then after it confirms everything is good, now you see where it says setup is complete. You're all set. Now you just press done. Now this one is going to do a test from the router to the internet versus my Android device to the Wi-Fi router. So let's go ahead and start advanced test. And let's see what we get here. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm, okay. And it's still processing, but it looks like we have 112 megabits per second down, and it looks like we're getting about six megabits upload. So now the Wi-Fi speed from the Android to the Wi-Fi router looks like we're getting about roughly 9.5 megabits down is what it looks like. Yep, so we got 10 megabits down and our upload speed looks like it's gonna cap out or even out at about eight megabits. Let's see though. Gotcha. All right. So the Wi-Fi speed from the Android to the router is 10 megabits up, 10 megabits down. But from the start, the Starlink speed from the router to the Internet is 112 megabits down, 6 megabits up. So that's actually um, a bit better, quite a bit better uh, from what I have for my Xfinity. Um, I actually got like 75 megabits down. And I got about six or seven up, so it's doing a, quite a bit better um, than what I normally have. So looks like we're doing good for the advanced speed test. I really like that it has this feature because it definitely parses out the data so it's easy to understand what goes to what, you know what I mean? So with that being said, it looks like we are good. We have gone from A to Z for setting up your Starlink internet. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, share with your friends, share on Facebook. 
And please visit my website, blackfalconelectronics.com, as well as check me out here on YouTube, as well as on my Instagram, Black Falcon Electronics. Please have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next video.